Hey guys, Brett here. Today I'm taking a look at a new software called Lacalio. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's L-O-C-A-L-I-O. I think it's pronounced Lacalio. Uh, so here I am, I'm on the sales page for it, and I'm going to read the sales page, and I'll show you the software itself, and then we'll talk a little bit about what I think it's good for, uh, and who I think it's good for, and who I don't think it's good for. Okay, so it says, how to create jaw-dropping content for any local business in less than 30 seconds with zero copywriting experience? Question mark. And then it says, using true artificial intelligence software is just a click away. How to use artificial intelligence technology to skyrocket your local SEO, Google My Business, and all digital marketing strategies. Okay, that's a, that's a mouthful. Uh, but basically what this is saying to you is that this is going to use artificial intelligence to write content for you for local businesses. I don't know why they've limited themselves to local businesses. I've actually looked at this software, and you can actually use this software for pretty much any business, any online business as well as local business. Uh, but for some reason, they seem to have focused on local businesses. Now, going through the sales page, you see them talking about artificial intelligence a lot. And this does use AI. I'm going to say that right out. It does use AI. Uh, but a lot of things use AI. AI is a buzzword in this space right now. It's a buzzword that's designed to get people to think that software is more advanced than it actually is. AI is actually everywhere. If you have Netflix and you've seen uh, suggested videos on Netflix or Amazon Prime, well, that's AI that does that for you. It's artificial intelligence that suggests videos based on feedback that you've gotten, that you've given, and things that you've watched before. AI is nothing special. It's not exciting. And you shouldn't buy something just because it says it uses AI. And nowadays, everything says it uses AI because, as I said, that's the latest buzzword. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the software itself. All right, so here I am. I'm actually logged into a demo account that I was given access to by the product vendors. Uh, this is a full-featured account, so all the features that I see in here might not be available to everyone. Uh, there is going to be a funnel, so there's going to be a front-end offer, and then there's going to be a funnel with upgrades and additional features. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't looked at the funnel yet, so I'm not real sure which of these features are available on the front-end and which of them are available on the upgrade. I just wanted to make that clear before I continue. Now, when I first got into Lacalio, I wasn't really sure exactly what, what it did. Uh, so I went over here to the video training section, and this is where I noticed the very first issue that I have with this system. Okay, so this is the video training section, and there are several training videos in here. Now, they're pretty easy to follow. They're pretty well written. Uh, they're pretty well spoken, I should say. Uh, the issue that I have, though, is that none of the videos here have correct titles. So if you actually look here, you can see this is all just placeholder sex. It says call title, card title. Uh, it says some quick example text to build on your card title and help you make the bulk of your card's content. This is all from the theme that they used to build the user interface here. Uh, even this button here, it says go somewhere. And if you click it, it doesn't do anything. This is an incomplete page. This is a page that they've built using a theme, which is fine. A lot of user interfaces are built with themes. I build software with themes, uh, but they never finished it. They put the videos in, but they never put the titles in. They never put the description in. And whatever this link is, you probably don't even need them. They never removed them. Uh, so right here, as soon as I started using this software, I realized that it's an incomplete software. It's not even finished yet. It's not even completely done yet. And uh, that really turns me off. I mean, at the time that I'm right making this video, I'm about what, 14 hours from when they're going to go live with the software, and it's not done yet. Now, granted, this is not a major thing that's not done. This doesn't prevent the software from working, but it does look pretty amateur to me that they don't even have their interface completed yet, just hours before they're going to be launching it to the public. The second issue I had is if you go over here and you click on the templates button, and you'll understand what the templates mean in a second, you actually see there are several templates. It says Lacalio templates, and they're broken up into categories by keyword. So there's Facebook, email, Google, agency marketing, Yelp reviews. There's a whole bunch of them here. Uh, but whatever you click, it doesn't change anything. So if I actually click Facebook, see, it kind of shows me the right ones for a second, and then it reverts back to the full list. 
Uh, that's a bug. There's an issue there. If I click, say, Google, it'll show me the Google for a second and then revert back to the full list. Uh, let's try Video Sales Letter, which there should only be seven templates. I'll click on it. And it's always showing you the same stuff. These are always the same templates that it's showing me. And you can see right there, again, it kind of showed me the right ones for a second and then revert it back to the full list. Uh, so no matter what I do, I can't, I can't narrow down based on keyword, which is what these buttons are supposed to do. Uh, so that is another bug. Hours before they're going to launch, less than 24 hours before they're going to launch, there's another bug in their interface. And again, this is not something that completely ruins the functionality of the software, but it is something that shouldn't have been missed with beta testing. Alrighty, uh, so those are the two issues that I have with the software itself. Let's go ahead and see exactly what it does, though. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on any one of these. Uh, let's do uh, Facebook ad headline. I'm going to click on start here. All right, so now I can go ahead and enter a company name and create a new client, which I can then save for later, but I don't really need to do that. Really, all you need to do is enter in the company name and then enter in a short description of the product or the company. Now, this is something that's kind of interesting to start with. Uh, this writes content for you, but you have to feed it content in order for it to write content. And the quality of what you get out is going to be dependent on the quality of what you put in. For example, I'm going to use my wife's candle company. I'm going to say Blue Harp is the name of the company. And I'm just going to say Blue Harp. Harp is a candle company. And I'll go ahead and click on down here at the bottom, generate AI content. Now on the right hand side, you can see it's going to make me add content. Uh, find the perfect candle scent for every occasion. Add a touch of luxury to your life with Blue Harp candles and 10% off all candles. So that is the ad headlines that it created from me from that little bit of text. And I got to ask myself, is, is buying a software really worth that? Now, I can go ahead and enter in some more descriptive text and I'll get some more descriptive headlines. So I'm going to say Blue Harp is a candle company that specializes in handmade soy candles and all natural goat's milk soap. Okay, that's a little more descriptive. And I'll go ahead and generate AI content. And you can see I get some more stuff now. Soy candles and all natural soap from Blue Harp. Introducing Blue Harp. I mean, they, they wrote that for me. Introducing Blue Harp. Um, find the perfect candle scent for every occasion. Same thing, 10% off all candles. And it, it's, most of it's pretty much the same. Uh, so this is what it does. I enter in some a description of my product or my business, and it writes new text for me. Um, again, I, is it really worth it, though? Is it, I mean, couldn't I have just written that myself? I mean, I could have written the words introducing Blue Harp myself. I could have written the words soy candle and all natural soap from Blue Harp myself. I mean, I, I really don't need the AI. As a matter of fact, I've typed more text than it's output it in every one of these occasions. Uh, so I don't really think that in this case for, you know, Facebook ad headlines, I don't think it's really something I need to be really worried about. Uh, let's go ahead and try a different one here. Let's try Yelp business description. Okay, start here. So I'll do the same thing. I'll enter in the business name. I'll go ahead and enter in the same text there. And I'm going to go ahead and click generate AI content. This one's taking a while. All right. So now it's written a whole bunch of text for me. Uh, it's writing an entire business description for me. It's written three of them. And let's go ahead and read this one. This is the first one. I, I don't I don't know. Well, I'll try to. Let's see if I can do this framework in two minutes. Oh, God, that's hard. Okay, let me just have a slight glimpse at the dot, dot, dot. Get a little bit of the headline here and then go back to playing with it. This will be my intro statement here. Blue Harp is a candle company based out of... Seattle. It's not based on Seattle, okay? So that I, that's not true. 
that specializes in hand-milled soy candles using all-natural essential oils and super simple recipes like natural goat soap. The members of our team take pride in being third generation makers of lovingly well then all that shit is true i mean it's just it's just making stuff up too um i mean you can't really use it for a business description because it's just making stuff up first of all it's really poorly written text and second of all it's just making stuff up i mean we're not based out of seattle uh we're not third generation soap makers uh you know it, it, none of that makes any sense so i'm gonna say that for this longer text as well uh it's really not that useful well, let's read this one here. Here's the sales copy I created for the business using Before After Bridge, B-A-B, copywriting framework. Before, okay, after. Imagine a company that brings out the entrepreneur in you. You is capitalized in this. So, obviously, I mean, you wouldn't capitalize the word you or capitalize the word entrepreneur in this sentence, but somehow this software did that. Uh, so it's already grammatically incorrect. With their cool and mindful products that add cheer to your life and peace to your soul. Oh, and you don't imagine such a thing? Question mark. That's, again, poorly written. And I'm not even like a grammar Nazi. It's just poorly written, though. Well, let Blue Harp help you get your imagination on. Folks, bring your dreams, build your dreams, and start living the way you imagine by selling natural soap made from fresh goat's milk from the farm. <laughs> And candles made from hand-picked soybeans. Hand-picked. These are hand-picked soybeans. Well, I never told it that. Grown organically. What if they're not grown organically? While su supporting sustainable farming and eco-petro ingredients. These handmade goods will turn any dull room into an enchanted place full of pizzazz and vibrancy. I mean, this is just stupid. I mean, yeah, I can't use any of this. This makes absolutely no sense. It's poorly written, it's grammatically incorrect, and it just makes things up that aren't even true about the company. And see, this is the thing. The most AI intelligent software can never write a business description well unless you give it a business description. And if you're going to give it a ton of description about the business, well, then why don't you just write the business description yourself? See the problem? Uh, let me go ahead and try a different one here. All right, let's try special offers. Uh, again, I can't even, I, I went and I clicked this uh, this Localio templates thing to try to, to narrow it down to special offers. But again, that doesn't work. I forgot. I said about that before. It's a real pain in the ass that that doesn't work. Uh, let's try YouTube ads, short description. All right, we'll try that. Okay, Blue Harp. Uh, put a little description of my company, and I'm going to go ahead and generate AI content. Okay, here's one. Our candles are made with soy wax blend, and we only use lead-free wicks. Well, I hope that we only use lead-free wicks, but I mean, the software doesn't know that, but it's saying we do. But it's fine. We do actually use lead-free wicks. Our scents are either essential oil or plathate free fragrance oils we have a variety of vegan soaps well <laughs> he's just making stuff up again that were made with goat's milk and shea butter and cocoa butter but what if they're not made with goat's milk and shea butter and cocoa butter i didn't tell the software this you see the thing is you really can't expect this software to know about your company unless you tell it about your company so it cannot write accurate output unless you gave it detailed input and as I'm doing this, I can't help to think to myself is if I'm going to, you know, have to put all this input in and describe the company in much detail to the software, why don't I just write this stuff myself? I mean, it's and I granted you can write this stuff once and create clients and then output things over and over again. But it really is. It, is it worth that? I mean, is it saving you that much time? Is it that much of a benefit? Uh, to write this huge, long description and save a client so that way you can output text about it later and, and then have to edit it later because there's grammar errors, because uh, the words are capitalized that aren't supposed to be, because some things are going to be wrong. Uh, is it really worth that that much effort? I, I don't really know. I don't know. I, I can't tell you what's right for you and what's right for your business. I mean, you have to make the decision yourself about what's right for you. Would I buy this? Honestly, probably not. 
but again, you're going to have to decide based on the amount of copywriting you do, the amount of clients that you have, if this is something that might save you some time in the future. And if it is something that's going to save you some time, if it is worth it for you to create these avatars and write up this big detailed description of this uh of your, these companies that you're working for so you can output this text and then just edit it, uh, then that's fine. That's great for you. But again, this is a personal decision that everybody's going to have to make for their own business. For me, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Um, you decide if it's going to be good for you, though. I hope this uh, review did help you understand more about what this is and help you make your decision more intelligently. Thank you and enjoy.